Well, we use like one. In the village. Yeah. So we need to have a light that uh, we can. That we're on the way to rob a drug dealer. And they got caught before they mm -hmm. got. Okay, so we just had our dinner breakfast at Bob Evans. There's what's that there's what the house is looking like now. It ain't done yet. I don't know how it I don't know. It's December eleventh and I'm not done decorating for Christmas yet. It's thirty-nine degrees outside. No, it's not. There that's about twenty-two outside. This has been sitting in the garage for the last few hours. Yeah, there's the notification, it's thirty-seven. So I'm gonna head back up to Hudson now. It's uh, almost nine o'clock, which is super late for us to eat dinner. But uh, we got the tree decorated today and a bunch of stuff like that. And I had to put bulbs and all of the uh, candles, which they had misplaced from last year. Somehow we tore the house apart for two days, had to go to Lowe's and buy 78 nightlight bulbs. Uh, yeah, it's done, so I'm gonna go home and do some of my work, I suppose. This is actually pretty bad. Temperatures dropped to 17, and uh, I'm not even looking at the camera. Roads aren't horrible. Uh, Visibility is pretty low due to the half blizzard we have here. There's no traffic. I guess it is nine o'clock on a Wednesday night. Um, roads have been heavily salted, so they're still pretty good grip, especially in the intersections. They've done that well. It's just the Xenon's lighting up these humongous snowflakes coming towards me at 34 miles an hour. Oh, look at that. It's ridiculous. It looks worse on camera because I'm getting more light from it, but it's so tempting just to look into the snow. I probably could here. I'm just following one car down Hudson Aurora Road. But it's, yeah, I, I wish spring started tomorrow because this isn't bad for a week but the fact that we have four to six more months of it is what is the killer all right here's what brights look like it just makes it worse because you're illuminating more stuff in front of you i'd probably be better off with just fog lights like kevin's car though <laughs> it's time it's time what do you think bud Pumpkin, is it time? Yeah, boy. It's Christmas times. Roads are dicked, completely dicked. It's 9.45 at night, so I'm, I'm gonna be a night owl tonight. I can tell. We got probably about a fresh inch on the sidewalk and driveway. My road was unplowed, which pretty much means it's a skating rink. Untreated roads, an M5 is fine. On untreated roads, an M5 is not fine. But I made it. Happy heart sings. Okay, so this is how we go. We start off this this friggin' Christmas poll for uh, the Festivus poll, Christmas for the rest of us, and um, and and we put lights on that, right? So then we come down and we start with our our first layer, our lowest layer, and it is the most difficult. So once you can determine the color code, which is black. Only about half of them are labeled. The rest of them have fallen off. So then you've got to compare and contrast against the next layer, which is white. Once we've done that, we take these things and we turn them into an X. You see that? This gives our tree depth. And like anything in life, depth is good, unless you're drowning. So we build this, right? Okay, so then we get our lights. And we don't just go around the outside. That's half-assed. We start with the, the, the Kwanzaa pole here, whatever the hell, Festivus pole. And then we, we go in and out of these branches here, and then we spiral inwards with three layers for the first couple layers as we build this thing up. And then we put the rest over here. I know it looks like there's too many lights there, there are. This is because my pigtail's sitting there ready for the next layer. So I'm going to build my next layer and carry on, keeping spiraling and making X's with branches until we get to here. So I'll talk to you in about an hour. And that's what we have a couple hours later. Um, mostly done. I need to get the, uh, I need to vacuum up some needles, A. B, put the tree skirt slash blanket down there, and C, I may or may not put the train around there this year. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't, so it'll depend on how much time I have. I think it turned out pretty well. I had to go and get 
more lights out of the basement and whatnot to finish it up. But uh, yeah, I think it looks good. So today was a busy day. I got up late, slept in, went to the grandparents' house, did a bunch of work for them, went to Bob Evans for dinner per usual, had some, uh, some breakfast for dinner, which I think I filmed. Came back, Colt came over, we did that. Uh, he just left a little bit ago, it's three, two, three in the morning. And I'm gonna go up and uh, crawl in some flannel sheets and call it a day. Tomorrow, probably more Christmas stuff. Hope you guys are getting in the mood. We got like two inches of powder out there now. So that's it. Okay, good night. Talk to you on Thursday. Good night.